Ooh, a fish just kited there. Did you see that? Where this boil is, there is a, a big horn for big sea trout. So we're going to go down here and see if we can't pull a big sea trout out. Nice to have some wind on here. I've got a heavy beaded pheasant tail and a strike indicator so I can see what's going on. And I think that's just par nibbling at it. It's fantastic, I can see the fish. I think we're going to go down to a smaller nymph. And there he is. I'm just going to use this tiny, tiny little bead head hazier and try and quietly drop that down on top of the fish. So upstream nymphing for sea trout doesn't get any cooler than this, I can tell you. So I've gone down to a, an eight pound fluorocarbon point. Attached to 10, attached to 12, and a tapered leader. Let's have another crack. It's perfect. It's just gonna come down past that rock. Oh, I think I missed one. I think I missed a fish. That may have been my chance. There's a salmon. That's the cast. That's the cast. Oh! Where are you going, fish? Oh my word! This is it's just... Go around that rock, go around the rock. This fish is just headed north. Oh, now he's heading south again. Very rapidly. Holy c Oh my god. Looks like I'm going for a walk. Quite a long one.
boy. Only on eight pound tippet. There's more fish coming up the river, look. Don't go near those rocks. Okay, we've got a beach. This is where we're going to try and land him. I think we're going to have to make a stand. Wow. Uh oh. Yeah, it looks like we're going up river again. Break me off in the rocks there. I really don't want to go up this way, fish. There's all sorts of nasty snags and stuff. Can we go? Maybe to go downstream. Big sea trout. Three hours later.